Hello friends, welcome back to Laravel 9 tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about one of the important topic that is we will discuss about how to alter table using migration, right? So last we discussed about what is migration and how to create table and in this video we are going to discuss about how to alter this table. Means if I wrongly created any tables, column, right, any things, we can alter that things, right? So first, uh, let's see my database. That is the Lara 9 database and already connected with my application. So this is the ENV and let's create a migration and let's alter after that. So right. So first create a migration. So to create a migration, we need to use PHP artisan make sorry artisan make migration T I O N and let's create a blocks table, right? So create blocks table okay so this is my migration file name and simply write create um, the table name will be the blocks okay so create a migration blocks so now if i just go to the visual studio code you can see inside the database migration we will get the create blocks table right so a blocks table will create when you run this migration okay so there is two things that is table id and table time sense basically this will create as a table column so for table id it will create a column uh, that is the id uh, and that will be the primary key and auto increment and the next thing is table timestamps it is by default for laravel and this will actually create two things that is created at and updated at. okay now i want to create a title of for my blog right so how we can create title so simply let's create a column and like a table and title will be the string type so simply write string and let's mention the name of this column that is title and I want another things that is table um, suppose I want to create a text type and this will be the description okay block title and description d s c r i p t i o n okay good now let's migrate these things so if you just migrate php artisan migrate so by migrating it will create actually five columns that is id title description created at and updated so let's php artisan migrate so it is migrated create blocks table so if you just go to the database and refresh so we'll get a new table that is a block table and just go to the structure you can see there is five columns id title and description we provided and created it and updated okay that's good now migration is created and a file is migrated now suppose i want to add another column suppose uh, author right? there should have a author for a blog so i want to add another column so how can i do this so for now we can create another migration and we can alter that table so how we can do this so write php artisan make migration okay so every time we will create a migration and i want add author uh, to the blocks table okay so simply write author to block table okay so just write table and now if i just enter this a created migration add author to blocks table now just go into the migration you will get another migration file that is the blocks okay now if i want to add this column this will actually basically alter right so simply just write dollar table and the author will be the string type so simply write string and author a u t h or author okay and when you create this it will create a table it will create a column author and this will actually using the app when we use the php artisan migrate basically it will run the app command and now if i just uh, going to roll back means if after adding the author i thought that author should not be there so how we can roll back right so simply here you can define the rollback command also so write table and drop column so i want to drop column and the column name is uh, suppose author so what actually we created will drop right 
now just run the php addition migrate so migration is added now author added to the migrations right author added to the blocks table so you can see the author is added now if i want to uh, delete this so how can i do this so if i just go into the database again and inside the migration we can see there is batch 3 for author blocks table so actually i discussed all the things in our last video we discussed about the migration in our last video and i forgot to use the alter things alter related things so this is for the part two of the migration video so please see the previous video and links are provided in the description section now i want to add this author to author name how we can do this so simply if i just go to the author uh, sorry blocks table you can see there is author i want author name so first i will roll back that things and then we'll add another th so simply just write php artisan migrate colon rollback okay so it will roll back only the last created migration so just to refresh this you will get no author column is there now you can change that so simply change author name and if you want to drop again then it will use the author name so simply write php artisan migrate it will again add the column in blocks table with the author name so, so you can see the author uh, is changed to the author name right so hope you understand this video and still if you have any questions about this video please comment in a below comment section next day we'll use multiple tables and we will try to use the join query like inner join right join left join right there is another type of join right cross join advanced join so we'll discuss about that things so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye